Greetings, welcome to Machine vs. Mathematics channel. Here we have another interesting question asked in GATE EC 2014 set 2 for 2 marks. You see, uh, this question, this beautiful question is taken out from jet transformation topic. And in this, uh, there is no reason of convergence stuff. But you see, uh, it is as follows. <coughs> The input-output relationship of a causal stable LTA system. So this uh, this system is both stable and causal, and the input-output link or the system is described like this: y of n equal to alpha y n minus one plus beta x of n. If the impulse response h of n of this system satisfies the conditions, so here you have a condition. Okay, so these condition-based questions are uh, many in gate examination. But there is no big deal in this, uh, please, okay, uh, just focus, it is very easy to solve. The relationship between alpha and beta, so that means alpha and beta are uh, defined in this, they are mentioned in the system like this. Now you have a condition, so there is a connection between these two somehow, so based on that we must be able to find alpha and beta, okay. Watch this uh, lecture series until the end so that you don't miss interesting points, okay? Because in the middle of the video, you will come to know many interesting points. So don't miss that interesting point. So please do watch until the end. Anyways, <coughs> let me accept this a system as it is. So a system is given to us y of n is equal to alpha y n minus 1 plus beta multiplied by x of n okay now without any second thought uh, your jet transforms are very helpful uh, you know in designing your uh, discrete time systems especially linear constant coefficient difference equations systems described by linear constant coefficient difference equations can be solved or can be analyzed uh, very easily using jet transforms that part uh, we will uh, discuss in detail in our subsequent lectures but for now we will try to solve this question you see so y of n system is given like this okay now directly apply z transform so y of z equal to alpha so shifting in time domain is just multiplication here you see this is z power minus 1 as i have uh, minus 1 there z power minus 1 now i have here y of z so this is z transformation for this okay now plus beta multiplied by x of z all right now put y of z on one side so i take y of z common so i have 1 minus alpha z power minus 1 now this is in the right hand side you have beta x of z now our system is what? Our system means transfer function of a system. H of z equal to output transform over input transform. See output transform is y of z, input transform is x of z. So y of z by x of z, let me go to next page. Let me take our next page. So y of z by x of z y of z by uh, just give me some time y of z by x of z is equal to h of z okay so this is equal to h of z and now your h of z equal to what we have uh, we have beta by so we have h of z equal to beta by 1 minus alpha z power minus 1 so this is what we have h of z now given condition see in this uh, h of z we have uh, beta and alpha now what is the given condition so given condition is this so given so let me go for this uh, what is given to uh, what is given to us is this n equal to 0 to infinity h of n so n equal to 0 to infinity h of n equal to 2 so how can we have this how can we have this form yeah that's that is like this see now uh, we can have like this z transformation of h of n is equal to say h of z 
okay now this is say unequal to minus infinite to plus infinite now you have say h of n z power minus n now if you assume a causal uh, see as we have as he is saying that you have a causal and stable as we have causal LTA system so that means h of n is equal to causal right that means h of n equal to 0 for n less than 0 so this is our causal LTI so this is our causal LTI system so h of n equal to 0 for n less than 0 so lower limit we will restrict to n equal to 0 for less than 0 it is 0 so we will take from n equal to 0 to infinity now here we have h of n z power minus n so this is what our h of z we have from the uh, from the definition of causality we have like this now <clears throat> now what is given to us here this n equal to 0 to infinity h of n equal to 2 so how can we get this the moment i plug in now if i plug in z equal to 1 okay that means n equal to 0 to infinity h of n see 1 when i plug in z equal to 1 1 power minus n now for any value n equal to 0 to infinity any value of n you plug in here doesn't matter always this stuff becomes equal to 1 always so therefore finally what we have concluded is let me take next slide so uh, what we have is this so finally n equal to 0 to infinity h of n 1 power minus n equal to h of z equal to h of z at z equal to 1 okay and this quantity is what this quantity is n equal to 0 to infinity h of n so this fellow becomes 1 for any n from 0 to infinity no problem at all so therefore h of n is equal to h of z at z equal to 1 so h of z at z equal to 1 so that this is my h of z right so h of z at z equal to 1 you plug in z equal to 1 here if you plug in z equal to 1 here so now what we get so uh, this becomes uh, beta over 1 minus alpha uh, this is multiplied by 1 power minus 1 that means it is again beta by 1 minus alpha only because this is again equal to 1 so now this left hand side equal to this right hand side we have but given condition this left hand side condition is given to us what this is given to us equal to 2 so therefore you plug in 2 here that means end of the day you have beta over 1 minus alpha equal to 2 now we can uh, have a relationship between alpha and beta so from this we could uh, from this what we can do is this beta is equal to say 2 multiplied by 1 minus alpha or we can write beta by 2 is equal to 1 minus alpha that's it now the given options in the left hand side we have alpha right so now we can find it out like this so therefore we can write alpha is equal to 1 minus beta by 2 see simple right so alpha is equal to 1 minus beta by 2 very first option we have 2 marks very easy so there is no big deal in this okay it is very simple to solve there is no big deal in this so the very first option alpha equal to 1 minus beta by 2 fit in this question okay so anyways <coughs> Uh, anyways uh, do, uh, do subscribe and please do watch things until end okay so bye for now we have many interesting topics and questions uh, are there in our upcoming videos we can check it we can check those things in more detail okay and if you have uh, any questions or any thoughts you can if you want to share you can share in the comment section below thank you